Hi friends, it's me, Hal, and I am back with another Brandy Melville haul. I just got some stuff for Christmas and I wanted to show you guys what I got. I promise I will stop shopping here eventually. I really am trying to and you know what, I should be saving my money anyways. I have some cool stuff. I have some Christie sweaters, I have some pants type things and I usually don't buy their shirts but I loved these two shirts that I got so jumping right into the items I got another oversized hoodie it's the Christie hoodie in the color beige or tan Next thing that I got is this Christy hoodie. It says Heaven Sent. It's super cute. I just literally haven't worn it out because I stain everything that I own. So I've been scared to wear it out, but what's the point of spending $42 on a hoodie if I'm not going to wear it out? I'm gonna do that soon. I got this, it's just white, oversized, long sleeve, and it says San Francisco 1984. I was really wanting a oversized shirt. A lot of them said stuff like Bay Area or Los Angeles or there, there was that Bugs Bunny one. And I wanted something that was very simple and reminded me of home and I get cold so easily. I didn't want a short sleeve one, so I opted for this long sleeve and I'm really glad that I got this because it's so comfortable. I got this cowgirl shirt. I love this shirt so much. I wanted this shirt so bad. I, I couldn't find it in the store anywhere and I had to order it online. It reminds me so much of my boyfriend and visiting his hometown. There are cows everywhere. It's a little town in Northern California. I cannot wait to wear this the next time I'm up there. It is so freaking cute. I love this shirt. I feel like a real cowgirl. The next shirt that I got is this Yellowstone Valley Gold Rush 1863 Bridger Trail shirt. Again, I really liked this aesthetic. I love the fit of it. I love how cropped it is, just like the cowgirl shirt. I usually try not to spend any more money on brandy shirts because you can just find them cheaper and I think they're personally really overpriced. So these shirts were all an exception because I really did love these shirts and I wanted them in my collection. Other than that, I try not to buy brandy shirts. I got more pants. I went a little bit overboard and I got four pairs of the biker shorts. These are just the spandex loungy biker shorts and I, I promise you, I bought them with the intent of wearing them to sleep, but then they were just too restricting on my tummy area. So now I'm kind of just stuck with four pairs of shorts and I don't love wearing them with my normal shirts because you can totally see a camel toe. I'm planning to get very oversized shirts to wear over them. But other than that, they're 
pretty comfortable. They were definitely made for a teenager's body, honestly. There's, I mean, I'm a size 25 waist. I mean, look at these. This is the kind of off-white colored pair. These are definitely my least favorite. I think they're super unflattering on me. This is the forest green one. This is a dusty blue color. And I just got some black ones. These black ones I probably will be wearing a lot. Um, the other ones are just kind of hard to style. I had to add to my sweatpants collection so I got a pair of light gray rosa sweatpants same thing as all the other sweatpants please don't mind the stain on these sweats when I show you them like I said I suck at eating and I always spill something especially on the front end and it looks like I pissed myself but it's okay you know one day I'll learn how to chew with my mouth closed The last thing that my mom purchased for me is these blue corduroy flares. They're like a navy blue. They flare at the bottom. And you know what? I already have a pair of blue corduroys and I already have a pair of flare corduroys. And I really wanted a pair of dark green flare corduroys, but I couldn't find them anywhere that was less than like 70 bucks. So I opted out for these. I enjoy these. They wear kind of weird. They fit me fine around my legs. It is a little bit long on me. I am 5'5". Five five. So if you're taller than 5'5", five five, these would look even better on you. If you're shorter than 5'5", five five, there might be a lot of extra baggage on the bottom of the leg holes. It fits okay around my butt. It is, it's pretty tight, but around my waist, it's very loose. So. The fit is kind of weird. It's definitely a pair of pants that you have to wear a belt with, in my opinion, because I find myself pulling these up like uh, 10 times a day or something. All right, everyone, that was my haul for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please comment them down below. I pretty much try to answer every question because I know it can get really confusing in terms of how the clothing fits since there's only one size for everything, usually. Oh, I did want to mention that the inside of this Christie hoodie, it's kind of rough. If you're looking for the more comfortable hoodie, I definitely recommend getting the Heaven Scent one. The inside is super soft compared to the inside of just the regular Christie hoodies. And please do not get those off-white biker spandex shorts. They look hideous. Uh, maybe it's just on me, but I look like I'm wearing a giant diaper in them. So I think they're super unflattering. I would pass on those. The other ones are okay, like I said, probably going to get some oversized t-shirts to wear with them just because I'm not very comfortable in this area. Yeah, that was it for my haul. Please give this video a like if you found it helpful and subscribe. I'm trying to release more content regularly, so I would really appreciate that. <laughs> Alright, bye.